Hi, this is the, uh, the current events section. I'm a little backed up. I, I missed some of the normal sequences that I, I, I would normally broadcast. Uh, so this is kind of getting caught up over the past few weeks. It's been a little hectic and all the different, um, got some time off, spent it with uh, my girl, my wife. Uh, you want to, I just say my girl, I love her. You know, I, when I say a husband and wife, it sounds very kind of ancient or something. I, I don't know. It's just not my style. So she's my, my girl. That's my, she's my girl. You know, love her with all my heart. And so we're going to look at the news and cartoons. I, I, I find it shows kind of like a nice little snapshot of, of the events, uh, of, of the past, you know, week. So this is the U S news and world report website that has these collections, the news and cartoons. And this is a little, a uh, few weeks ago, of course, but you know, I'm getting kind of caught up at this point. It's been a little, <laughs> it's been a little hectic, but uh, anyway, so we have, um, um, this is, uh, what's his name? Um, Betterman, right? Most stylish, I don't know. I, this gentleman had some kind of recent, he was in the what Pennsylvania Senate race against Doctor Doctor Oz there, and uh, he ended up winning. He's Democrat. I'm not a fan of Democrats. Uh, I think it's sad that he uh, had um, some kind of aneurysm or uh, stroke. I guess something like that at some point, and and ended up. I guess he has some kind of speech impediment or something, or he had some kind of brain damage, or I I don't know. I'm not sure, but. A lot of people are kind of making fun of him at this point, but I'm not sure. Most stylish. I don't know. I, oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I guess he always wears a lot of hoodies or something. I, I don't know. I, I think I'd wear like a, a suit and tie if I was a senator. I mean, honestly, I'm not a big tie guy, but at least like a jacket and shirt, you know. So, Peter and then will miss the president. Are you certain Putin will be interested in another prisoner exchange again? I don't know. Some of these things are kind of funny, but let's see with this one. I'll put myself over on this side. All right. So let's see real quick. Let me take control of the house. We're gonna. Sorry, keep flipping over here. We're going to start the session by reading the Constitution, possibly burning, burning it. But we'll let you know. This is obviously an anti-Republican cartoon, so not in full support of it, but Fusion. Fusion is the next next big um, technology. Here we go. Porter problems. Oh, no. <laughs> it's got blinders on, but you can kind of see through. Blinders, that's kind of funny. Yeah, these are the actual walls that are up. The actual wall, which I guess you can scale it relatively easily, supposedly. I don't know. I've heard things from different people, but so here you go. Um, crazy, right? I guess he, uh, you know, is when he was still trying to get elected Speaker of the House. Time Zelensky crime, Ooh, interesting. That's funny. I don't know. I just like look at it. It makes me laugh, but it it really does hit upon some really important concepts over the previous week when I looked through these. So it's it's a nice snapshot. I'm I'm always going through articles, uh, just anything mainstream media, alternative news media, international media, whatever it is that just to get perspective via watcher on the wall. And you know, I find these cartoonists, these editorial cartoonists, they they just have a funny way of, of of things they have a funny way about them and but it's a really nice snapshot though it, it really does and, and a lot of times they they capture what everybody's thinking about and they articulate it in this cartoon context that makes it you know funny but you know may, not that everything's funny and we're supposed to have comic relief 24 7 but it's they make it you know di digestible you know who really wants to read editorials constantly to be able to convey information 
in a format that's digestible, especially in some kind of humorous context, is, is really a genius technique. So I give these people a lot of credit. I don't have any immediate plans as Biden uh, uh, to visit the U.S. border, Mexico border. There are way more important things going on, but I'm not, I don't know, but I'm sure someone in my office will tell me. All right. You know they've been shadow banned or not. I don't know. Twitter, Moss. I'll tell you, Santa, if you're bad. Russian elf on the shelf. Wow. I can still energy, energize the base. Oh, no. Wrong base. Santa. There's... That's funny. 100 million. I'm not going to read through every single one of these. I'm just kind of slowly. I mean, usually it's just like one little sentence of whatever somebody's saying piece of dialogue at the bottom so if you want to read through but i i find these very interesting and entertaining and, and informative very very much so she's um all right so that's that's that one and then let me see you had another one lined up just getting caught up over the past few weeks oh, that's the uh All right, so this is the following week. I'm gonna throw it down. So obviously this is a you know, time period of you know, Santa, the whole time period. So you guys worry that extreme weather due to climate change is on the rise and the only claim we have to deal with is just No, I like that. That's funny. I thought inflation meant that stuff got bigger. Oh no! Oh jeez. That see, this is like a perfect example of how an editorial cartoonist can just capture this general sentiment: what's on everybody's mind, what's happening now, like what's current. You know, they really. This is so perfect. You know. Obviously, this is representative of, of of the reality of the situation of inflation, where everything costs way way too much, and and you know it's putting a strain on people's wallets. You know, so these children are waking up to to find tiny little presents instead of big, huge, giant presents because the parents can't afford it because they're maxed out on the credit card debt and they can't afford even to put food on the table half the time and they come up with this right these tiny little presents because that's all they can afford and it, and not that i support christmas i don't celebrate christmas but you know it happens I don't know. Fusion, uh, nuclear fusion. This could mean the end of our coal department. We can always give the naughty kids cryptocurrency. <laughs> wow, that's funny. From the rooftop indictments, Carolyn. Uh, natural gas prices soaring. Yep.
Oh no. Joe didn't get any coal because he shut down the fossil fuel plants. <laughs> That's classic. Yeah, there you go. That's funny. So, you know, here's another. I think there's just a couple more and then we're caught up. So, yeah, this one, uh, keep up the good work. Two years without a coup attempt. Wow. Nice. It is. Pretty big shoes to fill. I don't know. Who was that masked man? Dr. Roy is getting out of town before the investigation began. It is. 2023, it can't get any worse. <laughs> Classic. Stop whining about missing Christmas. Show a little empathy for our poor stockholders who might not get their half billion dollars in dividends. Oh, jeez. Funny. Yeah, so there's one more set here. Let me see real quick. Biden in the garage with a classified document. Yeah, Biden had a bunch of classified documents in his garage for some reason. I, I don't know. Who knows? All this stuff. Yeah, let's check on the status of your flight. Oh no, delayed, canceled. Pretty, pretty chaotic. What's happening with the with flights? I mean, geez, people just want to go fly somewhere they can. Everything's canceled left and right, delayed left and right. I mean, it's out of control. My insurrectionist stole the podium. How did yours do? Jeez. Bolsonaro. Documents around it. Is it responsible? It's time to your ass. Kevin McCarthy, the new House of America, Speaker of the House. What? Gavel is a big stick of dynamite. I love it. Immigration policy band aids. What the heck? No two snowflakes, no Joseph Wilson. He has home here. No home here. I don't know. Too funny. Here. Um, when in, in terms of the past few weeks, um, it's been a little crazy. So um, as I do, normally I like to review the, um, yeah, I get emails from cuttingedge.org. Um, it's a news, it's a, you know, spiritual or a Baptist oriented site that does a lot of uh, cutting edge you know, current events analysis into what's happening in the daily news as aligned with what's happening in scripture and what's been prophesied in scripture for thousands of years. So it's really amazing. And they really go into a lot of other areas that a lot of people um, aren't familiar with or just really analyze articles from all over the world, which I find is 
very important. Instead of just simply listening to what ABC, CBS, NBC have to say, or any of the normal news outlets like the New York Times or I don't know, Washington Post and whatever other the normal establishment newspaper you want to read from, this particular site goes into a lot of other alternative news sources and re realistically, like. For example, Jerusalem Post, I never read from ever. I never see it cited ever in any post online or anything. So it's just nice to hear from that part of the world because I find that it's really the, the heart of it all in uh, Jerusalem. So anyway, I, I, I think it's important to go on the site and, and add your email to the uh, newsletter and you will get the weekly updates. So I I just for for all for for this particular broadcast I'm just doing a kind of broad brushstroke overview of just simply reading from the different major headlines and and people can take it from there. So all right. But I definitely suggest reading the actual articles if if you know if that works for you. Of course. So the popularity of astrology, uh, divination is exploding worldwide. We reject the truth of the Bible, earnestly seek answers of the future. A lot of people, you know, they go to fortune tellers or they have a psychic come over their house or they go see a psychic or whatever. It's, it's definitely become an extremely popular thing. So, but, you know, of course, in scripture, it says when you come into the land, which I say the name of the Father, Yahweh, your Elohim, gives you shall not learn to follow the abominable practices of these nations. There shall not be among you anyone who makes his son or daughter pass through the fire. You know, some kind of occult ritualistic endeavor who, or who uses divination or is a soothsayer or an augur or a sorcerer or a charmer or a medium or a wizard or a necromancer. So this is very specific. This is from the Torah. This is this is outlining what we are not supposed to participate in. And look at any polytheistic tradition where where there's different worship of different gods and goddesses, and there's always witchcraft, sorcery, necromancy, mediumistic practices, things of that nature. So it's all kind of part of this this puzzle of the the new age if you want to call it that but it's it's the reality of these other traditions you know they turn to other sources they turn to supernatural entities and gods and goddesses that are not Yahweh or Elohim you know the first commandment I am Yahweh or Elohim you shall have no no other mighty ones again. So that's from the Hallelujah scriptures. But essentially, you have no other Elohim before him. So that's it. One Elohim, not all these different deities, and you do these different rituals and draw a pentagram on the on the floor and and invoke state demons and and whatever else people are invoking or using a Ouija board and you know, communicating with different entities, demonic entities, elementals, really dangerous. And it opens people right up. I mean, you have Hasbro, which is actually in Rhode Island, their headquarters that you know, manufactures these Ouija boards that end up in, in people's houses and end up being basically a, uh, some type of portal that you're opening a door that's being opened to these elemental spirits, these entities. So, Federal Court of Appeals has ruled that a Catholic medical facility cannot be forced to carry out transgender surgery. Interesting. Okay. Let us examine the role the press is supposed to fulfill in order to carry out this radical. Okay.
Biden is caught pretending to be helping Ukraine when in reality he is secretly aiding Russia. U.S. secretly tweaked missile launchers given to Ukraine to keep them from attacking inside Russia. Interesting. Secret alliance between Biden and Putin fulfills prophecy. Putin is re reportedly in trouble in Ukraine and may resort to nuclear weapons. Great. Yahweh turning Putin's mind toward the plot to lead an alliance of nations against Israel. Ezekiel 38, 9 being fulfilled in daily news. Moscow and Tehran, I, that's, that would be Iran, moving towards defense partnership. So, for example, Ezekiel 38, uh, verse 8, Persia, Iran. Uh, Ethiopia and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet, Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togar Ma of the North Korea and all his bands, and many people with thee. Russia, Russia is, also, is also now in the leadership position of this massive invading ar army. Be thou prepared, prepare thyself, thou and all thy company that are summoned unto thee, and thou guard unto them. Okay. So. Prophecy of Turin describes a vast army well supplied and led. So this is this is the reality of the situation. You know, the Gog, Magog invasion. It's all tied in with, with Russia, Iran, and all these other entities. Turkey. Why is Ukraine suddenly turning on its Christian Russian, Russian Orthodox Church citizens and persecuting them? Ukraine launches attack on citizens' religious freedom. And all churches affiliated with Russia. Interesting. Well, I don't know. I I have my own opinion. I don't to compromise that region of the world to the point where you know there, this NATO Russia conflict escalates into the stratosphere potentially. I don't know. You know, there's all kinds of issues with natural gas supplies all throughout Europe, and it, it's causing a lot of issues. A lot of different fertilizers come from U the G Ukraine region, so that's a problem. So the celebration of Jesus' birth comically is part of the most important fulfilled prophecy in the Bible. So I didn't even believe that the entire prophetic truth of the Bible could be proven by understanding the prophecy of which it is a significant part. Hmm. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, Sir Isaac Noon, he, he, he did a very extensive study of the Book of Revelation, based on my understanding. Like he was, he was uh, very Christian in orientation. I, I do believe he was definitely involved with different secret societies and mysticism, but I, I. I don't know for sure, definitively. I don't want to cast any aspersions, so to speak. So, uh, and if you know, I really, honestly, don't know. I think he was. I assume he was, but I do not know. But I, I know he definitely had a very Christian orientation. I mean, he definitely read the Bible extensively, and again, like I said, you know, did a study of the Book of Revelation, which was very in depth. So. Oh, interesting person overall. I I don't know enough about his link to any secret society, so I don't want to you know, I don't want to get into any area that I'm not familiar with. So okay, so you know this is kind of a you know breakdown of the seven years of tribulation. Uh, I don't. You know, this is. Not something I, I put a lot of time and effort into studying, to be honest with you. It really just depends on when you determine that, you know, this is it has been initiated. And there's there's just a lot of versions of of this 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 whole sequence of events. I, I just haven't spent enough time on it to really 
you know, the 70 weeks or of years or 490 years are decreed upon your people, upon your holy city, Jerusalem. Just, it's it just not an area I really spent too much time. And I really do think it, it, there's just so many different perspectives of it that it's, it's so hard to pinpoint the beginning and, and end. And this is, you know, just the a study of, of the breakdown of, of the, this period of time. The, I don't know, this, it's just not something I really spent a lot of time on. But again, this is a perfect example of something that definitely deserves to be investigated. And by putting your email address into the, the newsletter list would help you, um, you know, stay up to date on the, these studies. So this is, you know, really interesting information. And it's not something I'm going to go into on this broadcast. I, I just like to kind of hit the broad brush, brush strokes. But I find information coming from this, this particular ministry and something I've been following for literally 25 years at this point um, to be rock solid. Just something I have counted on. And, you know, I don't necessarily, I'm not necessarily on the same page with every single perspective, but the, the majority of the information is something I, I, I feel uh, that I can be in alignment with, especially when it's just simply analyzing current events as, as to their biblical importance. And, you know, parallel with or, or the reality of different biblical prophecies coming into fruition in front of our very eyes. That's, that's amazing to me. So just another example of, of, of the amazing power of the Most High and, and elucidating His Word in, in our daily lives. So parental lying to children continues and damages a child's ability to believe in Jesus, hmm. or Yahshua in the Hebrew. Ukrainian President Zelensky goes to Washington shopping for arms. Okay. Why well, estimates of the Iranian nuclear arms deal? The war now between Iran and America or Israel. Military partner. Would be war between India and China. Is India getting ready for a war with China? Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of geopolitical risk on the table, that's for sure. I mean, it never ceases to. Quite a few that I need to get caught up with. All right. Yep, so was Winter Storm Elliot powerful enough to allow skilled media professionals to convince citizens that? This storm was a precursor of the predicted global superstorm. Deadly bomb cyclone is set to reach peak intensity Friday. Okay. So, I mean, it, every day we see it. I mean, all over the world, these different natural disasters that happen that, I mean, it, it's unbelievable the amount of damage done. And I think really it just ties into the amount of sin in this world. I mean, we're seeing so much sin and and degradation and corruption happening all over the place that obviously the Most High is, is not particularly happy. So he unleashes, in my opinion, like his natural disasters as a just a response to these this wickedness in the world. You know? And who knows? I mean, I definitely think that you know, our government, our military, and the world governments and world militaries have the ability to manipulate the the weather in different capacities, and it's unfortunate, but they have a lot of power in their hands. So, you know, maybe it's a combination of, of things. So, you know, maybe certain areas are meant to be depopulated. So, you know, maybe large population centers or there's going to be a large focus on certain large urban population centers for for population growth. I'm not sure. 
you know, certain areas are meant to be re rewilded. I've seen a number of different maps along these lines. This this is some UN biodiversity map, you know, about rewilding a good portion of our country. So, you know, it's different things that who knows? All these different natural disasters are, are meant to depopulate certain areas of our country and, and, and the planet, and who knows? See, see how things go. But President Biden's determined open borders policy major sign that North American Union is on track. Okay, so massive migrant invasion of the United States just what, days away. Gag order. Biden men bars border officials from sharing data on migrant crisis. So what's happening with all these people just just literally invading this country from the southern border? I mean, the southern border is just becoming just it's just being trampled over, so to speak. It's like a, a welcome. Just people are just walking right over it with no without recognizing the you know, the sovereignty of the United States. It's just simply all about maybe dissolving our southern border, I think is really the end game for this whole process that's been playing out, that's been orchestrated, engineered, or however we want to look at it, that the southern border is, is being dissolved as we speak to make way for the forthcoming North American Union, a fusion of United States, Canada, and Mexico, which has already been put in place in so many different ways by NAFTA, you know, the North American Free Trade Agreement, which you know allows for this new economic structure and relationship between different countries of the North American continent. So it's it all starts somewhere. You know, the European Union started with, uh, based on my understanding, with the Euratom, uh, European Atomic Agency, back in, I think, 1955, somewhere around there. And it just starts somewhere. These, these, these supra-regional, uh, super-regional governments, um, you know, these maybe super, I'm sorry, supranational regional governments form somewhere. They start somewhere. You know, it starts with some kind of, um, you know, peace treaty with different nations, and then it leads to some economic cooperative cooperation organization between those countries. And then it leads to the formulation of, of some kind of, uh, you know, fall of justice type, type governmental think tank or something like that. Something along those lines. You you see it in all these different regions. I mean, the European Union. It's it's been formulated and, and it's led to literally the formation of the South American Union. We have obviously the European Union. We have the African Union. It's it all starts somewhere. These organizational programs between countries in a particular region. So if you go back back to this image right here, you see that and this is attributed to the Club of Rome, a very powerful think tank that was supposedly the forerunner of the current um, uh, World Economic Forum, which you know is considered one of the absolute most powerful think tanks and organizations on the planet. World Economic Forum, you know, the Bilateral Commission, you know, the Council on Foreign Relations, uh, a number of different political entities or, or economic entities or think tanks that have a lot of sway and influence on on different governments and, and militaries and the entertainment industry and, and just a lot of different uh, you know components that and influences that that affect what what kinds of things you see unfold in, in in the world. So in this case, you have I mean the Club of Rome 
who started, I think, in 1975, I believe. And this image has always been attributed. So, so what you have with this image, you have the world subdivided in 10 supranational regional governments. This is essentially what you're looking at here, or 10 regions specifically, and supranations, right? So do any of these exist currently? Yeah. You have the European Union. You have the African Union. They, they actually exist, and not many people know about them. You have UNICER, which is basically the South American Union. It already exists. And you have NAFTA, which, again, an economic type of cooperation organization, an economic treaty organization. NAFTA, you know, putting into place this relationship with this these countries, Mexico, the United States and Canada in this particular region, leading to a, a, a total, you know, reconstruction and reorganization of the governments and the, the reality of this continent, leading potentially what a lot of people have been talking about for a very long time, a North American Union just like we have in Europe, same kind of thing. People will say, oh no, the United States will never go away. It's not that the individual countries necessarily disappear, it's just that they become homogenized and become part of this supranational regional government. You know, they sign off to you know, become part of some kind of economic cooperation cooperation organization, you know, in the form of some, you know, government that supersedes their own sovereign independent nation. They become part of this homogenized whole, which is unfortunate because it's really a and dismantling power structures within any particular region. It's targeting these individual sovereign nations for extinction, really, is what's happening. So anyway, so is this southern invasion of the border really just breaking down once and for all our southern border altogether to the point where it will no longer exist? And then Mexico will really be united with the United States and ultimately, ultimately the United States will be united with Canada to form a new supranational regional government, new super nation, to supersede the individual sovereign governments in North America. So, you know, we shall soon see how it unfolds. So, Biden bars board officials sharing data. Well, the border of Mexico is acting proactively to unofficially create super nation number one. America is dying from within. So true. The U.S. is dying from within. Our constitutional republic has changed from we the people to we the corrupt politicians. Yeah. True. Why, while Klaus Schwab is marching this world into seven year tribulation events, he is not where someone greater than him is going to allow him seven short years of Antichrist. He will destroy this world ruler forever. Calling out the evil in the world today, George Soros, Klaus Schwab, and Bill Gates. I mean, they're definitely part of it. You know, I just don't agree that they are at the very pinnacle, at the apex of the Great Pyramid of History. So I, I definitely believe that there are other figures that are more powerful, but these individuals get targeted as the power structure, Klaus Schwab and George Soros and, and Bill Gates. I mean, they're, they are, are, they're at the forefront. This is the thing. You have puppets at the forefront, and then you have, in the background, puppet masters, right? So it's, nice, it's easier if you're behind the scenes, like the Jesuit Order, the Unholy Roman Empire, the Unholy Roman Catholic Church's hierarchy. I mean, these 
the great horror revelation is behind the scenes in so many ways. So, how many viruses exist? 380 trillion different viruses. Human virum. The next global virus plan is said to be coming, so the question should be, hmm. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of weeks, so I want to get caught up on now. See what else is in here. Yeah, and there's just some great uh, books and, and media, DVDs, things of that nature, the cuttingedge.org. They have their own, I guess, production company. They they put forth videos and things of that nature. So it's, it's, it's great, you know. I mean, it's a way, great way to get information across. Coming on the heels of Winter Storm, Ellie, the UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, spawned monstrous lies to promote their civilization killing agenda expert decries un chiefs claim that climate disasters are up 500 percent right so a lot of people you know that that take this whole perspective and i i i just call it conspiracy reality you know i'm looking at a world empire being implemented right before my eyes so many different parts of the infrastructure are already in place so many different mechanisms. I mean, it's a really complex reality if you really look at it. And there's so many different components, the World Bank, the IMF, the UN, all its different intergovernmental agencies, all the different governments and militaries of the world, all the intelligence agencies of the world, all the think tanks of the world. It's a very complex infrastructure that exists. So, you know, all these different realities are happening. So what is going to force people into total submission, right? You know, some kind of nuclear World War III. But what's e is not as, as um, you know, militaristic in orientation than like a World War III. What what is an easier way to manipulate the masses, control the masses, to maybe put them in a state of fear and panic because of things like natural disasters, right? So, you, oh, it's natural; it just happened. Oh, the government and the military could never manipulate nature and and things that uh, things things like that because they don't have the power. They don't have any like any different type of technology, like the harp technology or anything that can manipulate electromagnetic waves or, or manipulate uh, you know, uh, clouds and cause, cause rain to, to occur or, thing, or electricity in the, in the atmosphere or anything like that. I mean, it, it, you know, people just think it's natural disasters occurring. And then this whole agenda of global warming climate change and things of that nature has set this this precedent for people to to you know be controlled and governed and 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 different types of agendas have been implemented because of this this whole policy of and, and reality of quote unquote climate change that's happening, right? So these natural disasters seem to in essence, get worse and worse each year. So what is the end game with this gen going on for decades with climate change and things of that nature? Well, maybe it's really about population control. Maybe it's about population reduction. And maybe it's about you know, basically rewilding different areas of the earth and forcing you know, population groups into certain areas and forcing them out of other areas. And I like what's happening in, in with all the wild wildfires in California. I mean, so, certain areas are becoming unlivable. Why? Because of all these wildfires. But I don't know. I mean, if it means that we're going to lose our freedom because of natural disasters, then I stand against it. But otherwise, I just deal with it. Whatever the storm is, um, we'll weather it. This is the reality. Once a nation rejects the Judeo-Christian 
Yahweh, that nation is finished. No Yahweh, no United States of America. Very true. John Adams, our Constitution was made only for moral and religious people. It is wholly inadequate to the government of any other. There you have it. George Washington. It is impossible to govern the world without Yahweh. It is the duty of all nations to acknowledge the providence of Almighty Yahweh, to obey his will, to be grateful for his benefits, and humbly implore his protection and favor. Do not let anyone claim tribute of American patriotism if they even attempt to remove religion from politics. Absolutely. Thomas Jefferson, the reason that Christianity is the best friend of government is because Christianity is the only religion that changes heart. Sounds good to me. Sending Vermont intended to introduce a bill that mandated that all officials adhere to strict laws reporting child abuse. Okay. Vermont lawmaker seeks to close child abuse reporting exemptions for clergy. Why? Why are there any exemptions at all whatsoever for clergy? Why? Because of the power and influence of the the Almighty. Catholic Church, you know, you know, they are above the law in so many ways. I mean, it's very, very rare that a priest, bishop, or archbishop, or cardinal is removed from office or goes to prison. Very, very rare. And it's really, really ridiculous, considering the absolute crimes against humanity that have been caused by the hand of the unholy Roman Empire. Giant shape-shifting institute statues are being built all around the world 21 giant sheep ships and statues to be built hmm. interesting and speak okay it sounds like the beast right and he had the power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should be both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed revelation 13 verse 14 to 15 right so, again, tying into it in the future, at, at, which are, are many, from what I can see. So, just be prepared, keep reading the Bible, and you should be fine. Keep praying to all, the Almighty and the Messiah. Biden's DOJ is hiding 400 pages of such damning material the president could be in. Each other convicted of revealing chaos from Russia, Ukraine, and China. Biden's DOJ is concealing 400 pages of sensitive documents revealing payoffs and gifts from China, Russia, and Ukraine to Hunter Biden. Awesome. Medical establishment is, is bracing for imminent price increase, increases, like they aren't increased already with, with medical centers and hospitals. <laughs> Jeez. U.S. medical community braces for January price increases. Wow, can't wait. Did you know that in 1911, Crutches were well aware that capitalist owners greatly preferred the communist socialist program of Karl Marx? Right? You have, um, you have I think it's Rockefeller's in this picture, George Perkins, his partner, J.P. Morgan, J.P. Morgan tipping his hat, yep, John D. Rockefeller, John Ryan of National City, City Bank. All shaking the hands of Karl Marx. Right. Thank you so much. Iran just launched the war actually on which your bombs and bombers destroy a replica of Israel's Ela naval base. Perfect. War drill targets replica of, of uh, Israeli na naval base. War news is being trumpeted, which might fulfill the prophecies of World War Three. Prices have been created, but set in pause mode until, until all can be released at a coordinated. Italian military expert on Ukraine's ingredient for success against Russia, China, Taiwan, Xi Jinping. 
is preparing the Chinese people for war. China, South, South and North Korea, South Korea. U.S. and talks over joint plans on North Korean nukes. So, China, new virus strain. Virus, need to know. NATO and the U.S. may finally be in trouble as Russia is moving up her nuclear weapons and her hypersonic missiles to Ukraine border. NATO, U.S. in trouble. Russia expands militarily and moves hypersonic missiles near Ukraine. Lovely. So, you know, is is this, is the, I don't know. We, we shall soon see. There's a lot of things that, that, a lot of conflicts in the world. North Korea, South Korea, China, Taiwan, India, Pakistan, Israel, and Palestine. I mean, you got the Israelis and Palestinians, San Francisco, anything could trigger it. You know, Russia decides to blow up Europe. San Francisco's sewer pipes burst, sending filthy water spilling over large areas of the city. Shocking. It's a filthy city anyway, <laughs> so uh, not, not shocking. San Francisco streets, historic flood. High, San Francisco's high-tech public toilet breaks down after three days. Self-cleaning public toilet broke down after three days in service. Crazy. Federal judge won't let San Francisco clear homeless camps from side sidewalks. Wow. America has just suffered a government coup, invisible to more the coup we never knew. Or thirty billion, thirty trillion. Sorry, in debt. Sounds good. Our only national hope is a massive na nationwide revival, equivalent to the Great Revival of seventeen forty one to seventeen ninety six. No one will own anything. Everyone will be happy. Klaus Schwab says you will own nothing in ten years. Lovely. And you'll be happy about it. Wall Street will die, American greatness. Local and state woke president are not pursuing criminal cases, so we should not be surprised to learn as not pursue one case of huh. now left us a proposed radical step. Anyone can take to com combat climate change. Short people need to breed with the other, the other short people. Hmm. Record number of polar bears show climate zealots. Dire predictions are greatly exaggerated. Supernation number one. North American Union is going to be created by the greatest mass migration event in history. Biden officials prepare for mass migration event at southern border. Great. Biden's stop over the southern border was necessary photo shoot on the way to the real purpose, a major strategy meeting of the North American leaders. On day two, the North American leaders summit in Mexico. President thanks Biden for not adding to border. Disguised as a genuine crisis. Green government minister says migrants fleeing climate change must be let in. Republican House members are so agitated by Biden's border erasure policy that they have filed articles of impeachment against Mayorkas, Secretary of, of the Department of Homeland Security. Republicans waste no time. He must go.
Chaos reigned supreme for several hours yesterday on 1-11-2020. FAA computer malfunction grounded all flights. Jeez. Chaos is U.S. commercial flights grounded by system failure. Was this attack a trial run by foreign hackers? Who knows? When the federal government arrests someone as a domestic terrorist, what can be done to them? Who is going to save the government's political hostages branded as domestic ter ter terrorists? To the different articles, so kind of a little behind. So this is a pretty lengthy <laughs> section for the current events, but... I just think it's very important if you if you consider yourself a watcher on the wall, you want to pay attention to where things are at, and you just want to get a good sense of the bigger picture. If it's very hard to see the forest or the trees if you're always just reading articles related to maybe local events or just national events, I'm not seeing the international scope of things. It's hard to get a sense of, of the bigger picture and really to see things from the top down versus the bottom up. It's a lot clearer perspective. The new conservative government of, of Israel is concerned that a Russian-Iranian alliance is coming together against her. Interpret the Russian-Iranian alliance. Over 2,600 years ago, Yahweh foretold this alliance would invade tiny Israel, Ezekiel 38, 39. President Biden continues to destroy our way of life. Heads up, farmers. Biden is coming from for your water. Beautiful. A lot of disruption in the world in a lot of different industries, a lot of different areas. And I just think ultimately, just like the words of the New World Order and Freemasonry, order of KO, that, that slogan of the New World Order, order out of chaos. And we're getting, things are getting more and more chaotic. And ultimately, the final solution, whatever that may be, the world empire to come will, will uh, you know, basically be, be the ultimate icing on the cake for this diabolical plan to rule the world. And everything that leads up to it is just pure chaos unfolding. And this is just an other examples, what's happening in the public schools, what's happening in politics, what's happening just everywhere, anywhere you look. So I'm not saying it's all bad. I'm not saying the world is all bad. There's always the forces of good are always representing the world, but uh, that we are living in the time of the Gentiles. And we'll see some very wicked things unfold in this world. And we obviously have already. So it just seems to be building and building to a crescendo phase and climax. And ultimately, with some kind of nuclear World War III uh, resolution, I guess you can say. An, an unfortunate resolution, but... You know, something that's been building for, for decades, centuries. Biden continues to be the best ally which public schools have. He's trying to regulate Christian schools out of existence. Faith-based schools should be very concerned about Biden accreditation plan. Right. Is the president prepared to visit the southern border for the first time? His agents prepared the scene so Biden could pretend that there is no crisis. Government agents swept all migrants from the tiny border town. Border agents, police making arrests to sweep street of illegal immigrants ahead of Biden visit. The Texas Governor Abbott drove his wheelchair to meet the president with a letter of protest. Brazilian protesters storm Capitol, destroying destroy the Supreme Court and Congress. Chaos in Brazil. Again, more chaos, ultimately leading to Ordo. Order, new world order, the world empire, you know, the chaos and the dysfunction of all these different countries and and you know, different sections of the world, different organizations, all these different natural disasters. I mean, it's really a, a big, huge ball of chaos that you know will ultimately lead to 
to some type of resolution, an end to the chaos in, in, in an, an unpleasant fashion, I, I, I can imagine. So American leftists immediately equated the January 6th most, most peaceful protest with this Brazilian dissent. Left, left blames Trump. Republicans were Brazilians storming National Congress. Okay. Rewriting history continues in federally driven campaign. Pentagon begins work to strip DOD of Confederate linked names and items, rename nine Army posts. Communism places a great deal of importance upon rewriting the history of the country they are conquering. All right. So that's it for today with current events. And, you know, I think we're up to 